New York is one of those cities with uh, history. On my challenge! Just uh, underneath a uh, simple basketball court. By the ancient laws of combat. And can you imagine 160 years ago how it would have looked like here? Who holds sway over the five points? Located between what is now Chinatown and the Civic Center, Five Points was the neighborhood where you would start over as a migrant two centuries ago. Martin Scorsese did a fantastic job depicting it in Gangs of New York. But was it that tough? Was there really a butcher ruling the whole thing? I'm meeting today with Lloyd Truffleman, a specialist of the era to draw the line between fiction and reality. Lloyd, thank you so much uh, for taking the time today. You're the man who knows everything about the movie, but also uh, about the history of the Five Points. And my first question is, that character Butcher, was he really alive and was he uh, in charge? And did he run the Five Points? His actual name was Bill Poole. And he was head of one of the gangs, but he wasn't the king of the five points. Mm -hmm. There was no overlord ruler of the five points. A lot of the narrative is correct, although it was, it was condensed. Yeah. Um, however, the look of the movie historically was spot on. You had a situation that really was the first sort of multicultural neighborhood in the United States. Uh, it was a slum, there was crime, there was disease, there was poverty, but it was a vibrant neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and. People live their full lives and eventually work their way out of it. You just have to think of where the park is now. There were dozens and dozens of small, wooden frame, dilapidated houses set in sort of strange patterns. Um, and many of them were sinking because originally this whole area was a pond. People who live here would still say, um, um, where, where do you live? Um, Chinatown. Living. Oh, you don't say five points. No, 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 no. Nobody would say that. Um, the city didn't have a water supply. And so what they did is they drank beer because the beer, the alcohol in the beer killed the germs. But as a result, everybody was slosh. The immigrants were Irish, Catholic mostly. The nativists were Protestant. And the movie presented the, the Protestants against the Irish. In many cases, historically, it was Irish gangs fighting Irish gangs. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, who at that time was the New York City Police Commissioner, started to get the city behind it, where eventually the bend and all, was all demolished and cleared out. That took the, the, the core of the slum out, but all these buildings here became the Civic Center. That was amazing, Lloyd. Thank you so much. Standing here at a building two centuries old reminds you how real power lasts, but also that great storytellers like Scorsese can keep bringing to life the history of the less privileged. 